Hi, everybody. My name is Terry Sproul, and I want to welcome you to my studio. I'm excited about tonight. We're going to play with stencils. I'm going to basically build on what we've done the last couple weeks, and we're going to get really into layers and using a lot of stencils tonight. So if you're like me, and you have a hoard of stencils, and I'm not joking about having a hoard. Uh, 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 here's my confession. See this? See this right here? See that? That's my stencil collection. And that's like thick. So I love stencils. And I'm actually coming out with my own stencil line here soon, too. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but I'll tell you more about that later as we come across. Um, real quickly, a couple little things I want to talk about. One, Arnold Grummer, which is a paper making company, is having a design team call. Only a few more days left to get your application in on that one. Um, Sin City Stamps is going to be having a design team call probably around the first of the month. So, um, uh, you know, just letting you know about that one. So watch for that one. Um, what else we got going on? Oh, I do want to, if Joe's ready, I want to show, let Joe talk about the um, postcard swap that he is doing. That's going to be a lot of fun. I actually signed up for that, so I'm excited. You only need to make nine postcards, so it's not too bad. So are you ready, Joe? So I'm as ready as I'm going to be, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm clicking it over to you, so here you go. You're on I'm, live. Did I click over? Yes, you are. Oh my gosh, how exciting is this? So I want to talk to you about, we're doing an international postcard swap over at Art Papers Online. And here's the way it works. This is your little pack of postcards. And I don't think you can see it very well. It's tiny. These are about four by six. They're made in Thailand. And so it's a very tight little pack. When you get the pack, you're going to kind of open them up. And you'll have to peel them apart. And you'll end up with ten postcards that look just like this. They have a really, really nice deckled edge, but they're they're very stiff. They're quite stiff, so they're going to go through the mail so pretty well. So you get ten of these. Now, what you're going to do is decorate them, art on them, any way you'd like. So this is the first one I made, and you've seen this probably on Facebook. What's cool about this is I watercolored the background, and then all the coral reef that you see, these are actually scraps of art paper from Art Papers Online. And I just cut out the little scraps and glued layer upon layer. And then this fish, oops, is a style line sticker and so is the shell. And I just watercolored inside the style line sticker and boom, I've got a postcard done. So on the other side, I just have to put my stamp and the person's address. I just started another one that's going to be steampunk style. So I was collaging with tissue paper. On December 16th, you're going to get nine addresses of folks. I think most of them will be in the US, but we do have a couple people playing that are from New Zealand, uh, Great Britain, and Australia. Um, so on the 16th, you'll get your name and addresses. You're going to take nine of your postcards, put on those names and addresses, and send them in the mail on December 23rd. And depending who you're getting cards from, you won't get them from the same nine that you're sending to. We've got about 40 people swapping now, so you'll just get nine people out of that 40. Within the next couple weeks, you should get postcards from all over the U.S., all over the world, and they'll have cool art on the front. And then in January, I'm going to teach an online class how you can take... Wow, where'd that bright light come from? <gasps> Terry, I see the light! It's a bright light! <laughs> Don't January, go towards it! Don't go towards it! Gosh. Oh, in January, I'm going to teach an online class, and we're going to see how we can put all these postcards together in a cool storage way. I haven't decided yet if it's going to be a book or if it's going to be a box. Now, there are a lot of people helping us do this, and I want to share some coupon codes with you. So let's see if I can make that work. So to get your postcards, we all want to use the same postcards. That's how come we're going to be able to put them all together in January. You can go to artpapersonline.com. The postcard pack is normally, I think, eight or nine bucks. They're on sale for six bucks. You'll see it on the front page. And then you can save on shipping if you use Swap US. If it's going to the US, it takes three dollars off shipping. Your whole pack then I think is nine bucks. If you say swap world, it takes off money for folks who are shipping internationally. That gets you your postcards. But then we have another coupon. I think it's 25 or 20 percent off anything at alteredpages.com. The coupon code is art postcard swap. Use that code there and you could buy digital art to then collage on your postcard. So basically nine bucks if you're in the US, 
you're going to get postcards. You can send them, swap them with those other folks. If you want to buy cards and don't swap, that's okay. If you want to buy multiple packs, swap one, keep the rest, or tell me, Joe, look, I want in for two groups, two swaps, so you're going to have to send 18 cards. We have one person who I thought this was the coolest idea. She bought eight packs, and she's having seven of her girlfriends over. She's giving them each a pack as a gift, plus ordering food, pizza, and stuff. They're going to spend one night. Everybody's going to make their cards. Then they all swap them. In January, they're getting back together to take the class online together um, on a big screen TV, she said, where they're going to put them together in the book. So she's, like, turned it into a social event. So there's that's the art postcard swap. Any questions, Terry? Does that make sense to you? Do you see the steampunky one I just started? The only question we have is from Pamela, and she asks if the postcards can't be too thick, can they? Um, so, yes, you do that, need to keep them... Keep them flat, okay. keep them thin. What I did on the front of this one, this has got some lumpy bumpies. If I turn it sideways, can you see all the layers of paper? When I was all done, I coated the whole thing with perfect paper adhesive. So these things are on there. They're not going to get peeled off in any machine. I think we'll be fine. Now, Terry and I were working this out in the car on my way home from work. So, Terry, what I did was I just collaged tissue paper on here. So now with PPA, we have perfect paper adhesive. We have an acrylic base we can do stuff on. I did the same thing on the back of another one, Terry. I just put a whole coat of perfect paper adhesive, and it stamps on it perfectly with the right kind of ink. You know, you can't use a water-based ink. So you can, if you seal it, you can start stamping on top of it. Otherwise, this paper is very, very absorbent. I don't think you can see all the fibers, you know, so it's really going to soak stuff up. So you might want to seal it with an acrylic medium. I love perfect paper adhesive first before you work on it. But there's, uh, that's upside down. There's the beginning of two postcards. So I only have seven more to go. Did we lose you, Terry? Uh-oh. 